What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how I created a modal and react JS also known as a pop-up. This is what we're going to be building here. Check it out. So we have a nice overlay throughout the entire screen. And then of course our modal right here in the center. Now, whenever we click our X, our modal closes like so, but a little extra functionality we're going to be adding to this project is whenever we click inside the modal, of course, it's not going to close, but when we click on the overlay, it will close just like so. So if you're interested to see how I built this modal in react JS, let's get started. All right, so here we are in VS Code. I'm starting out with a blank slate. All I've done is create a basic React application, deleted a few of the uh, starting files, and I started my development server. So for our index.css, I removed all the create React apps tiles and just replaced it with a part margin and padding of zero. And then I also added in this NFT picture here that I just drew in. So if you want to uh, use my image, I'm gonna put a link to my GitHub in the description below. So you can just clone this repository. If you wanna use your own images, that's cool too. So to get started, let's go off and uh, let's get started by creating a button over here on the right of the screen. And I'm just gonna say modal, there we go. Now, the next what we want to do is actually create our modal component. So let's just dive right in here. I'm gonna create a modal.jsx. Now I'm using React Redux ES7 snippets, so I'm gonna use RAFCE, it's just gonna give me a functional component here. Now, let's go ahead and import this com uh, component modal, make sure it imports at the top and we should see our modal right here, okay? So what, how we're gonna manage our, our modal showing and not showing how we're gonna toggle it is gonna be the use state hook in React, okay? So let's go ahead and import our use state hook up here at the top. Now we're gonna manage our state in our function and our app function right here, just at the top. So I'm gonna say const and I'm gonna call this open modal and set open modal. You can call this whatever you like. This is kind of uh, conventional naming standards here use state and we're going to set this to false by default. Now our modal is already showing. So how do we, how do we make this modal not be shown right by default? So we're going to have to change the state to true. So let's go ahead and pass in some properties to our modal component. So I'm going to pass in open and we're going to pass in the modal state. Okay. So let's go into our modal and here, what we're going to do is accept our piece of state, which is open. And then right above our return, we're just gonna take just a little bit of JavaScript here. What we're gonna say, if modal is the opposite of what, um, we use a logical operator in JavaScript. So basically, if um, open is not true, then return null. There we go. And else, if we go back to our app.js, if we change this to true, you're now gonna see this show up on the screen. But let's leave it as false for now. So next, let's go ahead and add in our uh, modal. Let's actually add in some JSX. So what we want this to be is an overlay. This is the full width and height of the screen. And then this is gonna be our modal container. So let's go ahead and add some JSX here. This is gonna give us a class name of overlay. And then we're gonna have a modal container. And in here, we're also gonna have an image. Now would be a, now would be a good time to go ahead and import our image. So I'm gonna import, I'm gonna call it NFT from NFT.jpg. Now let's go ahead and save this and we should see our image. Oh, the, what we need to do actually is add an on-click event to our button. I almost forgot that you guys, super important. So let's add an on-click button to our button here or on-click function to our button. And what we wanna have inside of this button is actually an arrow function. So, and inside this function, what we wanna do is just set, set open modal. We're gonna set that state to true. So now when we click on our button, our modal is gonna be displayed. Of course, we don't have a way to close it, but that's all right, we'll come back and fix that here in a minute. So under here, this is gonna be the right side. We're using flex for our modal. This is gonna be the right side, and then we're gonna have a content div here, a button container, and our p tag up there to close our modal. So just after this here, but still within our modal container, we're gonna have a modal right div, and then here, I'm gonna have a close, btn but instead of a div let's actually make this a p tag and you can type out close in here or if you don't say x i'm just going to leave it as x next we're going to have a content div and inside of our content div what i'm going to do is just pull over pull over some text here a couple p tags and h tag i'm just going to save some time there we go now we should be able to see this right there that's perfect and just below this content uh, div let's add a 
button container. There we go. And for our buttons, we're gonna have two buttons and we'll come back and style these in just a moment. But what we want is a button primary, then also a button outline, and then just a span with a class name of bold around the yes and around the no. So let's go ahead and hook up our close button and give this some closing functionality. So let's go back into the app.js or actually in the modal.js, let's go ahead and find our closing button right here. Perfect. Now what we can say is on click, whenever we click this X here, we want to say is on close. And this is kind of a function that we can pass up or pass down. It kind of depends, depends how you look at it here. Now let's go ahead and go into our app into the, the modal component. And what we want to say is on close. And every time that that uh, button is clicked, we want to run a function in here. And basically the function will just be setting our open modal back to false. So now we should have full functionality of this thing. When we click the X, it should close the modal. Boom. That's what we want right there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and style this thing. Okay. So this is what we're going to style right here. So in our index.js, let's go, or actually, I want this button to start off with. I want to throw this button right here in the middle. So let's give this button a class name of modal BTN. And what I'm going to do is just grab over some styling. There we go. And so modal BTN here. Boom, there we go. So this should be, I'll walk you through it. Basically when this position is fixed in a top 40%, left 50%, and then we're translating this negative 50%. So it's right in the middle of the screen and giving it some padding. Now the Z index is very important, you guys, because we do not want our button to be displayed on top of our modal whenever it is displayed, all right? So very important there. Now, next we want to have our overlays. Remember our overlays gonna be the entire width and height of the screen. So overlay. Boom. And basically the alpha that we're using the RGBA for our background color of black. And this alpha here, if you want it a little bit uh, lighter, then go down. If you want it a little bit wrong one there. So that's pretty light right here. And if you want it to be darker, you can obviously just take this up to uh, 0.9 or one, but I'm going to leave it at 0.5 for now. We do want the position to be fixed and then a width and height of a hundred percent. Now the next is going to be the modal container. Okay. So let's put this thing in a container. And it's going to be a little bit skewed. There we go. Perfect. So our image is huge. We haven't styled our images yet. That's okay. But basically I want this to be a max width of 600 pixels, then set the width to hundred percent position of fixed. We're uh, top left and transforming right there in the middle of the screen, you guys then display a flex. So let's go ahead and just size this image down a little bit. What I'll say is width 250 pixels. Then the object fit, I want to say cover so it's not skewed in any way. So that's what we want right there. Let's go ahead and tar uh, target our modal right div, right? And what we want to say is just width 100% and that'll take up 100 width of the screen there of that container. So next is this close button. We want to put that position as fixed in the top right hand of the screen. So close button, we'll say, I'll just bring it over. Eh. So position fixed here and we can say top eight pixels and I'll say right eight pixels and this will put it right up here at the top right corner of the screen. So next is going to be our content div and that's just the, the H1 or sorry, it's a P tag H1 and then another P tag. So that's just a div with a class name of content. We want that to be displayed as flex, then a flex column. And it's going to have a text center with a little bit of margin around it. The next is going to be our button container. Okay. So for our button container, we're going to see a little bit of styling around there. Boom. We want display flex. We're having a little bit of padding. The next we're going to actually style our buttons. Okay. So we're going to target the button container and then both button elements. And what we're saying is with 100%, we're adding a little bit of margin and we've also changed the color to white. But next we're going to add this the coloring for both each buttons. So here I'm going to target the button primary and the button outline. And as you can see, just grabbing some uh, pictures, kind of match that image over off to the left. And then we want to target that span with a class name of bold, just to add in. Uh, a little bold uh, styling on our yes and no. So that looks good right there, you guys, but let's look at a mobile device. So that looks like trash, you guys. That does not look good at all. What we wanna do is actually add some media queries here. 
So what I'm going to say is anything, basically anything under 500 pixels is going to take in the styling that we're, we're going to give it. And for this styling, I don't want to see any overlay and I want this to take up the entire height and width of the screen. And this needs to be stacked. So let's go ahead and target our modal container. And like I said, we want to change the flex direction to column top zero, left zero. Make sure you add in this transform none because we positioned it absolutely up top. It will be skewed if not. So really important to keep the transform none there. And then for our image, we want to change this image. We'll change that image there to a width of 100% opposed to... Um, opposed to the just 250 pixels. So that is looking good right there, you guys. Let's change this close BTN. Let's give this a color of white, just so we can see. So boom, there you go. Everything is looking nice. We have our closing functionality. Now, when I go to a website and I see a pop-up or a modal, I just like to click in the white space or the overlay and just have it close. So that's a really cool functionality or a real cool feature that I think we can add. So let's do that right now. So let's go into our modal here. And at first, uh, I thought this would be really easy. I'm just going to add an on-click event here and just pass in the same on-close function and it'll be good to go, right? Perfect. But the problem is whenever you click on the modal it closes as well and that's not what we want that's a huge pain you're not going to be able to let people opt into your emails or collect your marketing that you're trying to do so the way we're going to get around that is use the stop propagation function in javascript and essentially what that means is basically wherever we add the stop propagation function will exempt that uh, dom tree and everything all the children elements from uh, being subjected to that close. So what we're gonna do for that is add in this right here on our modal container. And what I wanna say is on click, and what that's gonna do is take in a function, and it's gonna take in an event. There we go. And in here, what we're gonna do is take event dot stop propagation, and it is a function, so make sure you add your parentheses. Now, whenever we click on our modal, the modal does not close, yet when we click on the overlay, it closes. Boom, that's what we want right there, you guys. So that is how we create a modal in React.js. I hope you liked the video today, you guys. Make sure you smash that like button if you got some value out of it, and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be put putting out some more React content just like this here in the near future. So thanks for watching, you guys. Smash the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.